This had to be a little bit scary. A woman and her granddaughter were bowled over by a car when it came crashing through a grocery store where they were shopping. She went on to say that she was disgusted by the paparazzi who were laughing and high-fiving each other after the flash. We just keep doing uh, updates on that. Yeah, exactly. She's, she still doesn't know what happened. <laughs> Nothing has changed, but, you know, we figure, what the heck, time to see Tara Reid standing there again. I think that the people of California have sent the legislators to Sacramento to do work. Not to just hang. That's what they've been doing for the last three weeks. Hang. Nothing. The governor creating a new term there. Hang. Instead of hanging. just hanging, they're just hang. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's going to sweep the country now. Missed it by that much, but it might catch <laughs> but on. But we got, yeah, we knew what he was talking about. In Notomas, I'm Michelle Kane. Paul and Marcy, back to you. And they say, you know, you, you need to look confident when you're walking to your car because uh, criminals uh, don't like to attack people who look like they know what they're doing. And that's really hard yeah. when you're scared in a dark parking yeah. lot. And we saw a lot of women. They're easy prey. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. As long as they are aware of what's around them. Yeah. Michelle, thanks very much. The uh, suspect in an early morning shooting at a downtown nightclub is still on the loose tonight. An Amber Alert success story tonight thanks to a hero in a hardware store. Law enforcement is stepping in after an anti-war display was torn down from a Sacramento home. Two painters are back on solid ground tonight after they were left hanging off a 10-story building in downtown L.A. Google and author is now hawking a variety of sexual sounds all personally recorded. The downloaded sounds then play when the cell phone rings. However, these are certainly not for use in polite company. Can you imagine your phone going off while it's in your purse? In church or something? <laughs> or in a business meeting? Oh, What's no. What's that you got in your purse? Yeah. Uh, oh, nothing. <laughs> Still to come tonight. Five people are dead and several are still missing in that huge Southern California mudslide. The mud gave way without warning in the coastal town of La Conchita. Rescue crews are still searching for more than 20 people possibly trapped beneath the debris. When it comes to the weather, still a lot of the attention down south, as it should be, where there, there has been death and destruction, but uh, it seems to be getting a lot easier here. Oh, things are backing off for us. With Paul Johnson and Jennifer Whitney. A minute-by-minute -minute account of the attack on Columbine High was released today. to 700-page report giving a close-up look at killers Dylan Klebold and Eric Harris in action. The killers are shown tossing bombs and setting fires. Within 15 minutes, 13 people were killed and 23 others were injured. The shooting began at 11.19 a.m. and the shooters killed themselves at about noon. But it wasn't until three hours later that the SWAT team made their way inside the school. Now many parents of the victims are suing, saying they didn't act quickly enough. Obviously, the blame starts with the two murderers. From that point, could more have been done? Absolutely. The report, which was released in answer to the lawsuits, includes pictures of the weapons and bombs left behind. And authorities say this. If the bombs exploded as planned, as many as 600 students could have been killed. Sacramento Sheriff's deputies need your help in solving a crime. An elderly store clerk was viciously beaten and robbed last week, and part of the crime was caught on videotape. Lisa Beatty is live in the newsroom with more on a case that officials are hoping the public can help solve. Lisa? Death visited the train tracks in Old Elk Grove today when a man died trying to beat the train. But this train versus car accident isn't much of a surprise to people who live around the area. They say the tracks there are a menace and change is needed desperately. George Franco joins us from the newsroom with details on this. George? Tests in the Sierra now show the snowpack up there has less water than normal for this time of year. And to catch up, officials say we're going to need about 20 inches of water content in the next two months. But with the help of late winter storms, they say it's not impossible for us to catch up. But for the time being, officials say the problem is not helping the power supply facilities that need the water. Dave Bender joins us from the Weather Center. Dave, we're going to get uh, any rain anytime soon? Actually, no. We thought we'd see something maybe at the tail end of the five-day period. We don't turn the turbines. We don't have electricity for air conditioning come summer. So it's all one part, you know, one part of the really big power picture. Yeah, yeah we need it. There's you no doubt sure. about it, Dave. Thanks very much. Sure. See you later in the show. Well, here is the uh, latest in tonight's Power Watch. Reliant Energy filed suit against CalISO after CalISO demanded the producers sell electricity to California, even if the utilities can't pay for it. 
Meanwhile, a stage three power alert remains in effect until midnight tonight. Efforts to end the crisis move to Oregon, where Governor Davis met with other governors from nine western states to discuss solutions today. State lawmakers are working on how to issue bonds for the state to buy power, and that act was signed into law yesterday. Also, citrus growers in the valley are worried now that blackouts could shut down their machines that prevent frost from destroying their crops. So lawmakers working on a bill that would exempt growers from any planned blackouts. Monday on the 10 o'clock news. That'll do it for us. We want to thank you for watching. Marcy and crew will be with you through the weekend. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Good night.